welcome back to today's video. Do you have any words for? I got some words for the viewers. I got some words for them. Let's hear. What it. is going on, guys? Mitchell looks for it. It's his favorite point every day. Oh, I, I do that little wind up. I just love it. What's going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. It's uh, like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Yesterday was our first day fishing in South Dakota. Fished all day, filmed an awesome YouTube video, filmed four different Walleye Now videos. So last night, while we stayed in this awesome little place um, out on, I call it the Buffalo Ranch, but uh, we stayed out on the Buffalo Ranch with zero service. I edited five videos last night until about 2 a.m. Came into town this morning, fueled up the truck, and uh, today is Sunday. Uploaded the videos at the gas station because it's the only time I had service. And now we're headed out. We got a couple hours this morning, Mitchell. Yeah, we do. And actually, I, I want to give a shout out to that place too because it was a phenomenal stay. I think it was called Dust in the Wind Ranch. I think something like Sportsman's that. Cove. If you call up Sport, Sportsman's Cove and talk to in uh, Webster, owner, Webster, South Dakota. Webster, South Dakota. Talk to Doug. He's got a place there called Dust in the Wind Ranch or Dust in the Wind Cabin, whatever it is awesome place highly recommend calling and staying there if you're going to travel this way yeah he's a solid dude he'll hook you up with kind of where fish are biting we came in here totally blind so even something as simple as like yeah there's good walleyes in that lake because take a pan to the right mitchell this is how it looks all over out here there's, there's li these little lakes everywhere so <laughs> i don't know where to start mitch surely doesn't know where to start oh wow <laughs> But, guys always but uh, the guys at Sportsman Cove do know where to start. So even they can just tell you, like, okay, yeah, that lake's good for walleyes. At least we feel confident while we're out there the first couple hours not catching anything, trying to figure something out that there are walleyes in there. So, um, yeah. Anyways, today, Mitchell, busy day. We are uh, up here around the Webster area. We're going to go catch a couple of fish this morning. And then we are going to... Uh, get back on the road and we're going to Sioux Falls, South Dakota to the Shields to do the fifth or sixth one of these awesome walleye now seminars um, uh, at the Shields store. So I'm excited to talk to a bunch of you guys tonight. Should be a pretty busy event, I believe, and uh, excited for that. So like I said, we got a couple hours of fishing this morning. Probably going to try some goofy stuff we didn't try yesterday. Uh, maybe, you know, go back and fish some of the same stuff we did do yesterday. We'll see. And then uh, take a couple hour road trip south to Sioux Falls to uh, do an awesome wall and owl seminar. And then, I mean, it's just like, where, do, where does the busyness stop, really? Jambalayas. The jambalayas, the jumbo leeches. Didn't the, get too many today because we only have like literally two hours to be out here today. But we figured if the options are just go straight to Sioux Falls and not fish or fish for two hours, maybe get a little content, maybe film a little vlog style video, catch a couple walleyes, talk to a few people down in Sioux Falls, take you guys along for the journey, show you an average day in the life. Woo! What else you got? What else? Not that's that's it. it. Uh, but um, right. you might as well do steam. it. So plan is Mitchell obviously kind of go out fish a couple spots hopefully and, catch uh, a couple fish and uh hit the road yeah, yeah we did upload uh been out here for a couple days now we uploaded a mountain of content on what we're seeing where we're seeing fish to the wallet now app so if you guys are fishing out here or maybe looking to come out here and fish really this style of lake is super popular you see a lot of lakes like this in in southwestern minnesota um north dakota obviously and uh, South Dakota as well, obviously. So um, if you guys are looking for, you know, uh, uh, this information applies to kind of those areas very specifically. So um, we're gonna put the boat on plane here, go mm -hmm. try to catch a few walleyes this morning and uh, have ourselves a day, Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell, right there. There we go. Fish on, first one of the day, boys. What do we got? What How do we got? It? How was it? It's walleye, Mitchell. Not big, not big. Well, we abandoned the casting, started the trolling. Yeah, First I, little guy right here. I broke off two times in four casts and said, Yeah, Mitch said, ah, you know, the cast that. need not for me for today. Cap. But uh, no, we did not catch anything casting. So we went to the troll, immediately seeming slower than yesterday. Yeah. But I think these fish probably move a lot in these really flat lakes, huh? In most flat lakes, that's what you kind of see. There's sure not a whole do. lot of structure. The fish are very nomadic, shoreline to shoreline to shoreline. Yeah, there's no big but we'll see, key but we, pieces of structure holding fish to it constantly. There are a couple key pieces of structure that just seem to always have fish on them. But yeah. 
They also kind of seem to be community spots. We rolling? Yep, now it is. Hopefully our audio's all right, because we did not check I hope it we have audio, I have no idea. See what this thing's doing? Feels, it's like it's a, feels like it's a wallet that's going way sideways. It's a nice wallet, it's a really nice wallet. Is it? There we go, Mitchell. Spot number two. Produce the walleye. You want to scoop him? Yep. This is what we're after right here. Heck yeah, dude. Give me some. There you go. Decent little fish, huh? Yeah. Just nice. right off. It's actually a good one. Compared to what it was like average size yesterday. Yeah. Good little Walter there. Pulling the spinners. I absolutely love this pattern. I like these weird kind of bizarre patterns like this where like you don't get to do it very often. There we go. Nice. You got one too? Oh, no, I nice just have to check walleye it. right there. South Dakota, full of walleyes apparently, and we're having a good time catching them for sure. Back he goes. Quick <coughs> little thumbnail picture. Quick little picture so I can prove I was here. Looking good, huh? Yeah. Just slow us down. Yeah, yeah this might good. be a nice walleye. Oh, come on, Mitchell. Give me that big walleye. <laughs> Give me a boy. <laughs> Give me that big old walleye. Searching for a couple days for something like this, haven't we? I'm I hope be, it's a walleye. I'm gonna be this. ready. I don't know. It's not feeling big now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice walleye. Yeah. Nice yeah. walleye. This is the nicest one the last two days, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, nice stocky 19, 18 er. A lot of fish. 14, 15, 16 in this lake. Yeah. I think there is quite a few nicer ones, but for whatever reason. Um, it's a good 19 or 20 incher, though. Yeah. Nothing huge yet. No. Nothing big. But. Mitchell strikes. His first Walt, South Dakota Walter of yeah, the day. Yeah, the old, uh, finally switched blades on the old spinner rig, so it was crucial. It was a good stocky fish though, nice one. Let's get him back. There it is. There it is, Mitchell. The last South Dakota cast. Last South Dakota cast. You see the, the way I was working that jig on the way back? Are you getting crazy with it? Yeah, I was getting real wild. Well, like I said, I only had a very small amount of time to fish this morning before we got to get on the road. And I definitely enjoyed my time fishing here in South Dakota, even though it was only a day and a half. That's all the time we had. Caught a bunch of walleyes. Today we tried some bizarre off the wall stuff like you just saw us doing. That did not work. <laughs> Pulled some spinners on some new spots. Caught a few fish. No complaints there. Now we get back in the truck and uh, continue our voyage for the day, right Mitchell? Yeah, I think we have, what, two hours to drive and then... What a two-hour drive. In a short synopsis, uh, South Dakota was fun. Fish seem to be very shallow. Wind seems to be very helpful. I'm sure most of the time it blows out here a lot more than this and the wind's crazy like it is in North Dakota and South Dakota and probably yeah. both these places. But uh, fun time, ton of walleyes, ton of hidden gems to explore. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to pick the troll motor up. See you guys in the truck. What is going on guys? We have arrived down here in Shields, drove a couple hours south, got out of the water, and now we're here in Sioux Falls, but already given an awesome seminar tonight, and we're standing in front of the walleye now end cap, and we're super excited, uh, to, like we said in a bunch of other videos, to have these up all over Shields. Phenomenal store to kind of be a part of, you know, as far as working with them goes, and uh, we got a ton of awesome quality products here, as well as the awesome walleye now teaser view teaser video plan and no matter how many times we do these things Mitchell it's just kind of cool seeing a project you work so hard on um, kind of in front of this many this much foot traffic every day isn't it yeah, I don't like and it is super cool Mitchell can't talk because he's not mic'd up by design <laughs> but uh, yeah so we're gonna um, maybe do a little shopping you know we're kind of going from that transition I would say from you know 
it's that late spring, early summer, kind of transitioning into summer bites. We might kind of do kind of a little home run package, a little, if you could get three things, kind of three little kits, I guess, for uh, some of this transitional time frame. where we're going for kind of colder water temps into the summer time frame. We'll kind of walk you guys through that a little bit maybe. What do you think, Mitchell? Awesome. All right, guys, so we did a little walking around Shields, trying to figure out what we could kind of film. Awesome little short form piece. Well, we just came back from uh, the Webster area in South Dakota, filmed a bunch of YouTube content over there, bunch of stuff for the Wall and Now app, and we're kind of transitioning from this, you know, late spring, early summer time frame, slowly into summer. And what we have in front of us, Mitchell, is a bunch of spinner rig components. Can they see them? I can only see the screen that you're pointing at me. There we go. So these are spinner rig components. Now, the last couple of videos you guys watched, you guys saw we had a ton of success on the Acme Rattling Walleye Spinner, which is a great spinner rig. And I am a bait tinkerer, like tinkering with stuff, switching blades out, swapping beads, swapping weights, hooks, all this kind of stuff. Now, for the summer time frame, you can take pretty much what's on this table and catch walleyes almost anywhere you're gonna go. The key is some form of weight. The last couple of days we were pulling just like an inline 3 8 or quarter ounce weight, but for a lot of the summer, a bottom bouncer. Generally, the best thing I like to do is start with like a one or a two and learn that dive curve religiously. So you know it everywhere it's gonna go at speeds and at depths, very important. So most of the time I run one ounces uh, for most everything I'm gonna be doing. Now, the other thing, Mitchell, we have here is clevises, quick change clevises. It's kind of a cool thing that uh, a, lot of, a lot of spinner rigs go to where you can quickly change blades out. Now, blades are always the thing, blades and bead combinations are always the thing where everybody's like all over the place on what color blades, what color beads. Overall, I like to keep pretty simple. Dirty water, I love golds. Gold really does pretty much work everywhere. Clear wires, I love silvers and purples. And I like smaller blades for the most part, most places I go. Seems like a lot of places you go, fish get conditioned to those big thumper blades a lot. So staying with a smaller blade is super beneficial. And same thing with my beads. I run my two favorite colors pretty much for walleyes, which is purple or the gold, or some combination of those. Now, obviously all the only thing, other things you need, some kind of swivel, a smaller barrel swivel like that, or a crane swivel, slow death hook, which I like running on a lot of situations where I might be running a half crawler or even a leech, gets that thing twirling around a lot. And like I said, with the things on this table, you're capable of going almost anywhere in walleye country over the course of the next couple months and catching a bunch of fish. And you guys know how much I like like the rattling walleye spinners like we filmed the last couple days. A lot of this stuff, you know, you might, I classically get my whole rolls of spinner rigs, cut them apart, retie them with different parts and kind of make kind of unique combinations all the time. So spinner rigging is kind of the summertime deal in a lot of places you're going to go. And with just the things on this table, you can go a ton of places and catch walleyes this time of year. No Mitchell. Not, not, not as much as a fishing tip as it is a life tip. <clears throat> when you're staying at hotels. Let's hear, Let's hear it. When you're staying at the hotels and especially national chains, you got um, you got American Inns, right? Yeah. What's your thought on American Inns? They're they're decent. They're Hamp decent, Hamp generally a little cheaper, generally a decent place to stay for fishermen. Hampton Inns. Hampton Inns. Now, decent. Normally a little bit more higher in than my taste. Nice yeah. Um, um, then you got Super Eights. Now Super Eights. I got I got some story about Super Eights. Oh here. boy. Super now you eights. Super Eights can go one of two ways. You can walk into a Super Eight and you can be like, oh my gosh, this place is elegant. Or you can walk into a Super Eight and go, where's my wallet at? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you just never really know with a Super 8, but yeah. Um, yeah. Hold on, we, hold on, scan this. Look at this guy's junk right here. I had, so look, look at this stuff. here's what I carry around with me. Some of this stuff gets washed sometimes. We got Sim Sun shirts, 2B Sim Sun shirts, pair of shorts, contour clothing. Well, I was ravaging through trying to find my last clean shirt, Mitchell, for the trip. Lots of Sim Sun shirts here, but. Just got done with the seminar, awesome seminar. I don't even know what, what we're really filming this video for. Sometimes I just like to film a video where it's like, here's a little taste of uh, the day-to-day -day operations here at uh, Tom Bull YouTube channel. But awesome seminar. Whenever I do these seminars, I should say this. I always enjoy, um, I live in this little bubble where it's like um, I go fishing all day. It's me or it's me and Mitch or it's me and Shelby or whatever. Go, go fishing all day edit all night, post a video, and I see comments coming in from John and Chris and, and uh, Paul and all these people. And then I go to seminars 
and I meet John, Chris, and Paul, and I'm like, wow, these are actually real people that comment on these things. And it's kind of weird sometimes to think that like, it's not just this little vacuum bubble of uh, content, but um, yeah, seminar went well. These things have been absolutely a ton of fun to do with Shields. Looking forward to doing some more and some potential big projects with Shields in the future. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this video. It's just a quick little, I'm about to rip this footage, edit the stuff from this morning, edit this little clip right now, and uh, go to bed because it's been a long week on the road. Tomorrow, right now we're still in South Dakota. Tomorrow morning we wake up early. We go from South Dakota to Minnesota to film some more stuff on a body water destination we've never been before. So stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching and I uh, will see you guys next time.